Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is 8.45 and we are live streaming from Stuttgart. I'm Katie Linendahl and I'm a journalist focused on technology and I'll be your host for this digital Mercedes-Benz press conference today. You may remember me from CES. I've had the pleasure of working with Mercedes in the past and it's an honor to be joined again this morning. As you all know, the original plan was to be at the Geneva International Motor Show right now. Instead, for obvious reasons, Mercedes-Benz has moved this event to its home turf here in Stuttgart, Germany. And I'm happy to welcome our very first guest, a man that needs no introduction, Ola Kalenia, CEO of Mercedes-Benz. Welcome, Ola. Thanks, Katie. Good morning. Great to be here. Good to be here in Germany. I know plans have changed a little bit, but rightfully so. Yes, of course. We thought we would do this live from Geneva today, but uh, the Swiss, Swiss authorities made, I think, a precautionary good decision uh, to cancel the show. Health and safety is paramount for all the visitors and for our employees. So now we're taking the show digital instead, and I think that's a pretty cool thing. I think it's a nice thing. It's a nice little twist. It, a lot of people have coronavirus on their mind and just the impact it's having on the global economy. And perhaps from your perspective, if you could just help us understand how it's impacting, if at all, your business. Well, indeed, we're monitoring the situation, of course, and uh, especially in our Chinese operations, we extended the Chinese New Year, which is usually a week off to two weeks, and we're back up and running in our plants in China since February 10th. Uh, gradual increase of production, working together with our supply partners to get back on track. So it's really a day-by-day -day management situation. What's your personal assessment? of the situation? I think it's too early to tell uh, how far this is going to go. Uh, on a good note is that our international operations so far, even though we have global supply chains where everything is connected, uh, all of those operations have been uninterrupted. And kudos to, to our supply partners and our procurement and supply team uh, to make all of these things happen in this unusual situation. And kudos to you guys for positively continuing to look forward and move forward in a very positive way. And I have to ask, you know, when it comes to Mercedes-Benz and keeping the conversation moving forward, what is on the top of your to-do list, on the top of your focus? Uh, there is so much going on right now. And of course, this is the most exciting of times for the auto industry and for our company. And for Mercedes, it's about delivering sustainable, modern luxury. And we will do that through electrification and digitalization. We've been hearing that word a lot, electrification. And we're familiar with it a bit, and we'll go down that path in just a few moments, but digitalization, perhaps you can touch on this and explain it a bit for our audience. Well, this is really a digital revolution that is going on in the auto industry. I would say the car is the ultimate smartphone on wheels. So you have a hard, hardware architecture and you have a software architecture. What we're introducing is in all our models, the latest and greatest what we call MBUX, so our infotainment domain of that software architectures. All bells and whistles, over the air, downloadable, new features for the customers. And today we're going to present the newest version in the E-Class. Uh, so intuitive and of course what you expect from Mercedes, aesthetically beautiful. Aesthetically beautiful, a nice little tease as what's to come in just a few minutes. Definitely looking forward to that, but also the focus too on electric. It is primary as well as the digitalization. It is indeed. We have made a very clear decision at Mercedes. We are going CO2 neutral. So our greater ambition that we call Ambition 2039 is over the next two decades, the whole fleet is going CO2 neutral. So it's a, it's a full offensive on electrification on all our vehicles. Well, smart this year, as of 2020, fully electrical. We're ramping up our full production of the new EQC, electric SUV. This summer, we're launching the EQV, so a fully electrical people mover, and that will be followed up with a lot of plug-in hybrids and mild hybrids, 48 volt systems as well. We had a very cool video from Sweden where you've been doing some incredible testing. Perhaps you can touch on that. Well, actually, the team is up there already now, and they're testing the next electric uh, vehicle that is in the pipeline, which is the EQA that we will show later this year. And if you go up to northern Sweden, you have the harshest of conditions. It's really cold, so you really, you really beat up the car uh, under extreme circumstances. And uh, what I'm hearing is that we got some pretty positive results from the testing up there. Very good. There is a lot going on. I mean, just having this little conversation already. In terms of goals this year, are there some things that you can share? 
Yes, absolutely. Our product offensive is at full speed. We will show vehicles today, new plug-in hybrids. Uh, we are doubling the amount of 48 volt systems, mild hybrids going from 200,000 units to 400,000 units. The XCVs, so battery electric vehicles and plug-ins, we will quadruple that this year, which means this is a very big year for us uh, and a year where we're taking electrification to the next level and extending the lineup, which I think is a significant milestone. Absolutely. Uh, the new compact Mercedes, they have been a smash hit. We've sold all, more than 7 million in this kind of new generation of compacts. And uh, uh, Marcus, my colleague, he's going to show some uh, really good stuff uh, also on the electrification side on uh, some of those compacts today. Perfect segue. Here to tell us more, as Lil just alluded to, is the new compact plug-in models is Mercedes R&D lead Marcus Schaefer. So good to chat with you again, Marcus. Last time we spoke, it was at CES, and now you have an all-new unveil for us. Great to meet you again, Katie here in Stuttgart. Thank you. So let's talk about the new family members of our compact uh, car family. Actually, we're adding three new family members when it comes to plug-in hybrids. The CLA Coupe, the GLA, and this beauty here. And actually, we have not enough space to show them all today here. So we just picked this one here, the CLA Shooting Brake Plug-in Hybrid. So I think the engineers did a great job of adding a large battery into this vehicle here, integrating it nicely and keeping the trunk space, basically. So what's the result? The result is over 70 kilometers of range. And of course, charging is very, very important. So we added an AC and a DC charging capability. So you charge in just 25 minutes from 10 to 80%. I think anyone tuned in is saying, oh my goodness, what a beautiful vehicle, but maybe asking the question of why strongly focusing on plug-in vehicles? Well, we believe that plug-in hybrids are the best of two worlds. So, of course, primary focus is emission-free driving. And our studies show that 90% of your daily commutes in general are less than 50 kilometers. Mm -hmm. So your primary drive is emission-free, and that's really the purpose of this vehicle. But if you want to go long range, maybe over on the weekend and have a trip in the mountains, you use the long range of the efficient uh, combustion engine. And why gas and diesel? Well, these cars are in worldwide demand. So we cover, of course, China, we cover the US with gasoline hybrids. And the primary focus, maybe in Europe and Germany, is diesel hybrid. Well done. A little bit of a snapshot there. More to come. Would yeah. you like to go join Ola yes. on the couch? Yeah, Have a little sure. chat? Let's do that. Let's do it. So some very cool snapshot. Again, more to come. But Ola, I got to ask you, when you're listening to Marcus in this conversation, are you saying... This fits into the overall strategy comprehensively. It does indeed. Uh, I mean, this year alone, we're looking at cutting up to 20% CO2. So uh, we need a lot of uh, new products and technology to do that. And I think these cars, they fit perfectly into that strategy. So we're excited about this. It is a very, very steep ramp up. And Marcus, in terms of the battery production, you can guarantee supply almost essentially. Well, in these days, we need every battery, I believe all of you agree, uh, plus one. Uh, so we decided some time ago uh, to develop and produce our own batteries in a worldwide production network. So uh, we have three factories already running, the largest factory in Commons in Germany running 24-7. We added the factory in Beijing, China, and another one in Bangkok, Thailand. And another six factories are just under construction at the moment. And Ola, back to you just for a moment, I'm hearing 20%, and it's a large number, but it's just in terms of concrete goals for reducing CO2, it is paramount to your goals and your efforts. Absolutely. As I said, the ultimate target is to go CO2 neutral, so 100%. And uh, if we want to get there, we get to go faster now, and that's why we're doing this. I, I, I really feel good about uh, spreading our electrification across the world, because it's not just about Europe. It's our worldwide network uh, of production, of course, sales of these products that are going to go electric. 20%. Thank you, Ola, for that insight. And we have a lot more in store today. And let's get right to it, because next up is another very popular model. It's getting a fresh appearance for 2020. Let's take a look at the excitement. 
that various E-Class customers have for their favorite models, ranging from the classics to the new cars. I think that video perfectly highlights that there is an E-Class for everyone. And I'm thrilled to bring in the lady that knows in everything about E-Class customers and their preferences. She is here with us today, Head of Marketing and Sales, Britta Seeger. Britta, welcome. Good morning, Katie. Great to have you in on this chat and just an exciting time for E-Class. Well, it is. And you just saw the enthusiastic fan base of our E-Class. So. Uh, I think we can uh, truly say the E-Class is in the heart of our brand and more than 40 million cars have been sold of all the E-Classes and only of the current generation more than 1.2 million cars have been sold to enthusiastic fans around the globe. And the data doesn't lie but it, it's to hear you say that it's at the heart of the brand is such a powerful statement and can you just expand upon that a little bit and what really makes the E-Class family so special? Well, over decades, our E-Class has been uh, leading in the luxury segment and uh, we gave a lot of and we contributed a lot with leading in innovation um, and especially the driving, the Mercedes driving experiences uh, that the E-Class delivers to our customers, to our brand uh, customers and a very diverse basis of customers around the globe. In your opinion, what is the most important success factor when it comes to E-Class? Yeah, this is, as I said, over decades, the E-Class delivered upon innovation, technology, and especially design. And this is what our customers appreciate and love so much about the E-Class, the driving experience, the Mercedes feeling, the design. Uh, and we listen very carefully to our customers. This is why we offer as well to them a very broad product variety from sedan to the estate, coupe, cabriolet, and all the way down to an all-terrain model. Well, I know you agree with all these statements, correct? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm getting fired up here. Maybe I need to expand my garage. And, <laughs> I can and, help and, you. And see if I can put something in there. <laughs> yes. Uh, it sounds like a wise choice. You know, Britta, we talk about the loyalty, and you also noted it's not just the driving, but it's also let's talk about the time savings because I think this is so paramount to people's what they want. Every one individual is trying to save time now and they get that opportunity and that feature. Well, well, that's absolutely true. And we see the true luxury as of today is time and everything we can do to our very loyal customer base in the E-Class and not only the E-Class, but mainly the E-Class where eight out of 10 customers plan absolutely to buy another Mercedes. So we owe them as well something. So we owe them convenience and the true luxury experience of time saving. So um, we believe that digitization can be of a big uh, support in that regard. So we truly believe going forward then by 2025, more than 80% uh, of our customers will book their service appointment online. Triggered by us with uh, a variety of different options, we offer them individual offers and then by one click, 
they can book their service appointment. And I think this is for the benefit of our customers. I think you're driving the focus on digitalization, which we discussed earlier. And I mean, that's a perfect example right there. And it's so critical for in terms of your business overall strategy. Yeah, that's totally true. This is why in our best customer experience 4.0 activities, we concentrate very much to all contact points with the customers, whether it's in retail or online, in order to simplify the life and the interaction with the brand of Mercedes. And not only on the service appointment side, but as well on the sales side, where we truly believe by offering possibilities to the customer, by 2025, more than 25% of our total sales will be done and executed online. And I think this is a true, uh, a true commitment to our customers. It's an exciting time. Very much so. I'd be remiss not to mention that the, as a business sedan, it's also just great in that vertical as well. One thing that's worth highlighting when it comes to E-Class. Yeah, absolutely. As I said, mainly 50% uh, of our customers as of today are business customers. And they, in addition, uh, they love the design, they love the driving experience, and they love the convenience with our E-Class. And we want to do everything to make life with an E-Class and Mercedes as convenient as possible. Great insights. Marcus, your point of view, I mean, there's tons of features that are to be excited about right here, but is there any personal highlight that's a standout for, for you? Well, as you said, there's a ton of technical features uh, and uh, hard to f pick one. But if I had to pick one, let me start with electrification. And what is supporting our goal of sustainability and CO2 reduction? It's the electrification of the powertrain. So we start with the basic electrification of our four-cylinder engines, electrifying with 48 volts our diesel engine, our four-cylinder diesel engine, and adding an ISG, the integrated starter generator. But also we're introducing today the new four-cylinder gasoline engine, also supported by 48 volts and ISG. So that's a great way towards uh, CO2 reduction. For anyone tuned in asking, what about plugins for E-Class? Well, uh, there's not only one plugin, there are seven plugins, diesel and gasoline plugins. So a wide choice to pick from. And you know, I love to talk about the latest and greatest tech and gadgets. And I've heard the term, it's been synonymous that saying the E-Class is a real tech machine. And perhaps you can explain a little why 360. Well, of course, our goal is um, developing emotional intelligence. And we will see the emotional side later on. But when it comes to intelligence, there are great features. And I'm talking about the HMI. So the interface between the user and the machine. And we are adapting this machine with the MBUX system that the machine, the car, adapts more to the user. So with the MBUX in the latest version, that's a great, great uh, way forward but also the capacitive steering wheel, capacitive switches, and of course the car can be updated over the air uh, and make future proof. But also the driver assistance systems of the future and incorporated in the car. Excellent. It's cool to talk about new tech and features, but it's even more exciting to give a little reveal. I'll hand it over to you. I think you have something exciting to share, correct? Well, we have something in store and uh, let's have a look at the new E-Class.
As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this is really a serious upgrade. Just have a look at the exterior design. We have a new front with an all new grille. AMG now has their new own signature grille. Uh, and they all get a nice and refined rear end with new bumper, taillight, uh, great design. Also, a lot has happened on the interior side and in the brains of the car, of course. As Britta said, there's an E-Class for every taste and preference. And there's for sure the right Mercedes for every occasion. Following our strategy and our deepest conviction, we keep adding more electric and plug-in options to our portfolio. You can be sure there's a lot more to come. Thank you very much. Be safe and take good care. We look forward to meeting all of you in person again next time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good. So, super.